obsessed with this audiobook narrator. So fun, so entertaining, and I think sorely underrated. The audiobook for this series was amazing. Hello! It's been a while. I haven't done a video in a few years, but I'm back now. So I thought that today I would recommend some audiobooks because I have been very obsessed with audiobooks. I've read like, I would say like 15, 16, maybe, maybe, maybe less. At least like 14 audiobooks this year. So I compiled a list of some really good audiobooks that I would recommend. They're still just great books anyway. I really like every single one of these books I picked. So I thought I would just recommend some. If you are looking to get into audiobooks or you're looking for some or something like that, then here we go. Cool. Cool. So the first audiobook I would recommend, Strange the Dreamer, is a really good audiobook, I would tell you. The narrator is great. Strange the Dreamer is about this man named Laszlo Strange who has always been obsessed with the secret city of Weep. He spends all his free time when he's not working in the library trying to discover where Weep is, what happened to it, and find all the documents he can to see if this city is real. Now I'll leave it at that. It's really good. The writing is super whimsical and it's just a great story all around, but I thought the audiobook was really good. Another really good audiobook is... This will probably come as no surprise to most people, but uh, Daisy Jones and the Six is a very wonderful audiobook. It is a full cast and this book is about a band in the 70s that grew to become the biggest band in the world and how it happened and why they broke up. And it's just, su it's super fun. There's also a TV show out. As you can see, there's like little headers with the names of the people who are talking. So it's an oral history and they tell the story through dialogue. I'm obsessed with this book. It's one of my favorites ever. So this is more of a recent read for me. It is an extremely popular book, very popular on book talk. That book is Red, White, and Royal Blue. It's a romance taking place between the Prince of England and the son of the US president, and it's cute. And I thought the audiobook was very well done. But I have two books to recommend, and they're by the same audiobook narrator. And the first one is Legendborn, and the second one is Blood Like Magic. They're both narrated by Jonice Abbott Pratt, who I think is a wonderful audiobook narrator. Legendborn is about this girl named Brie. After her mom dies in a tragic car accident, she goes off to Chapel Hill University to do a high school program for gifted high schoolers. While she's there, a magical demon attacks, and she realizes that there's this entire secret society made for hunting demons, and it has something to do with King Arthur. Um, it's wonderful. The second one's out. I'm so excited to read the second one, but it's wonderful. It's one of my favorite books, and the audiobook was fantastic. So Blood Like Magic is about a girl named Voya Thomas who has just come into her powers as a witch. But in order to get her powers, she must pass a trial given by one of her ancestors. And that trial she must complete is destroy her first love, or all of her family's magic will be gone forever. This is the book I most recently read. I just finished the second one. I'm obsessed with these books. I think they were amazing. So fun, so entertaining, and I think sorely underrated. All the other books I've talked about are, I would say, fairly popular. Some extremely popular. This one is, I wouldn't say unknown but it's very underrated for as good as I thought it was. But I would really recommend you to read this. See, I also love Lizelle Sanberry. She's a YouTuber who I watch. So the next book I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I thought the audiobook for this series was amazing. The narrators were so good and it was a full cast. So, well not a full cast exactly, but there was a different narrator for every perspective, which I thought brought a lot to the audiobook. Ember in the Ashes is a dual perspective following a girl named Laya and a boy named Elias. Laya's world has been turned upside down when her brother gets kidnapped by soldiers and put in prison. She finds a resistance and will do anything to get her brother's freedom. Elias is a martial soldier training in an academy. All he wants is to escape the academy and go live a free life without any violence. When their paths meet, their destinies will change forever. I'm not sure if I explained that well. I'm sorry. It's a hard one to explain, but it's really good and the audiobook is amazing. Read it. It's It was wonderful. I loved it. How's in this really in is the next one? I love this book. It's so sweet and the audiobook is even sweeter. So this book is about a man named Linus Baker who's given an assignment to go to this island where 
six very powerful magical children live. One being the Antichrist. And basically he has to determine within a set amount of time if these children are too dangerous or not. And it is wonderful and so cute and so sweet. I loved the audiobook. I thought it was so well done. And I remember I cried like a gajillion times with this one. Even though it's not that sad, it's just sweet. And sometimes sweet things can make you cry too. The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This one is about, in this world, there are four Londons, each named by a color. So there's gray London, which is like our London in this world, no magic. Red London, that is abundant with magic. White London that is being destroyed by magic, and Black London that has been destroyed by magic. Our main character, Cal, finds a relic from Black London that is too powerful for this world. When a thief named Lila swipes the relic, Cal must get it back for her, and they team up to bring this stone back to London. I thought this was a wonderful audiobook. I'm actually very partial to the audiobooks for V.E. Schwab's book. I love her writing, and I love this book, and I love the audiobook, and it was just a very fun time. Shadow and Bone is also a very good audiobook. I thought the narrator was really good, and I just thought it was well done. So Shadow and Bone is about this girl named Alina who realizes she has the power to summon the sun. She is the only one able to do it. So she's taken away to this palace to train alongside a bunch of other people called Grisha with summoning abilities. And I love this book. The show's great. The audiobook was great. Definitely pick it up. So another great audiobook is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Ugh, just just a fabulous book. So this book is about a reporter named Monique who is given an assignment to go write an article on this famous Marilyn Monroe-esque Hollywood actress named Evelyn Hugo. And basically it goes through Evelyn's past and her seven husbands and what happened in her life and eventually talking about her real true love. It's just wonderful. The audiobook was great. The narrator just really captured the story and I think that if this sounds interesting to you, definitely pick it up. What is all this dust? Sorry about the dust. The dust. Six of Crows is the next one. Um, one of my favorite stories. I'm obsessed with Six of Crows and I also love the audiobook. I thought it was very well done. Six of Crows is about this group of six teenagers who go on this impossible heist to break out the maker of a very dangerous drug that is affecting people with magic. I would definitely recommend you read this. One of my favorite books ever. Probably my favorite fantasy book ever. So then we have Nevermore, and uh, I love Nevermore. I've just recently read this book on audiobook. I listened to the first two and I cannot wait to listen to the next one. And the next book is coming out in October, I think, which is amazing. I cannot wait. But yeah, this book is about this girl named Morgan Crow, who is said to be cursed and blamed for all the local misfortunes. On her 11th birthday, she is swept away by the, this eccentric ginger man to a world called Nevermore, where she must compete in trials to get a place in the Nevermore society. And it's beautiful and wonderful, and the audiobook was really good, although I do have a little criticism for it. The audiobook narrator makes a few choices with the voice voices she gives characters that I don't think I personally would have done, but you know, I'm kind of used to it now and I kind of like it. It was a choice, we'll say that, but it's still amazing and I love it. So yeah, you should read it. So another great audiobook is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, another V.E. Schwab, how could I not? And this book is about two boys named Eli and Victor who are college roommates and they come up with a theory that if someone dies and is resurrected, they will contract superpowers. And that's all I'll say, but it's really good and really fun, and it has a very great um, trope of friends to enemies, which is not as popular as it should be, because that's re it's really fun. So yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Subscribe! I will be posting more regularly now. Um, I want to get back into this because it's fun for me. And yeah, thank you. Bye!